Hi everyone, it's Kelly here and I'm here to share with you a simple technique that I came up with on how to make your very own gorgeous floral bead sprays. And these floral bead sprays, I will go over each one of them that I made here. These are using wildflower craft flowers and leaves and also some beads that I already had in my stash. And let's start off with this one. This one is made using the Aster Daisies. It's the pale pink one. And then I had incorporated some crystal beads here. It's some pink ones that I had in my stash. And a smaller one. So pretty much very gorgeous. You can definitely incorporate these sprays into your projects, your special projects, such as your layouts. And for an example, this is a layout that I had made. I have a video on this if you guys want to refer back to it. And I can definitely add this onto the sides or even like where the clustering of the flowers are. And they are absolutely perfect and definitely very gorgeous. And I had also made one here using the Sweetheart Blossoms. They call these Sweetheart Blossoms because the petals are a heart shape and they're so adorable. Super cute. You can definitely glimmer mist this if you want because they're in white. And you can get these in the stem flower section uh, on Wild Order Crafts. And I incorporated the clear crystal bead that I had in my stash. Just a variation of the different sizes. And they are absolutely perfect. And then this one here, I will show you how to make. This one is using the cherry blossoms in the light blue two-tone one. And I use some coordinating color beads here, crystal beads here that I had in my stash. And this one here, once you get the technique down on how to make these gorgeous sprays, you can also add like a floral tape to cover the wires if you want to. So I pretty much did this one because this is a fall theme spray that I had made and I wanted to cover the wires and the you know the green part. So I used a floral tape that I had in my stash which is brown. This is the only floral tape that I have and I don't have any other colors. I plan to get more in different colors but you know, this doesn't really bother me, even though the wires show, I think it gives it a really unique look. So, as you can see, this one here, too. And I love using Wild Orchid Crafts, of course, because, you know, their flowers have really long stems that you can definitely work with. And these are the Aster Daisies. Here's the item number, by the way. It is FS-00110. I will leave the item number of the other ones on the description below. Now, once you get the technique down, you can definitely incorporate different types of beads that you may have, like acrylic beads, even bead caps, you know. For an example, I used a bead cap on this one here. This is the acrylic sprays, the um, acrylic uh, crystal spray that Wild Orchid Crafts carries. They have a variety of different colors, so I just took it apart and I added some um, glass pearl beads that I have in my stash and then also a bead cap and isn't this absolutely gorgeous I can also add this onto the floral bead spray that I had already made and it is absolutely gorgeous you know once it is added onto this it makes it even look fuller and just one of a kind isn't that adorable no, gorgeous actually. The flowers are adorable, but this is super gorgeous. Definitely, you can incorporate, you know, anything that suits your personal style and you can make it to where it's one of a kind, you know, you can't get it anywhere else. It's just definitely your personal style. So, like I said, you can use leaves and I use the fall leaves. These are the fall leaves that Wild Orchid Crafts now has and they are perfect for the fall season. And then you can use like the regular leaves, you know, that Wild Order Crafts has. And this one I glimmer misted. And I plan to use that on a floral spray that I plan to make. And the technique's very simple, very easy. Once you get it down, you can incorporate anything into it. The possibilities are definitely endless, you guys. And if you do happen to use my technique and happen to make a video, please mention also where you learned it from. It would definitely be very appreciated and um, you know it just shows a lot of support that you are watching my videos and that you know like I'm able to help 
and um, inspire you. <laughs> so it just shows appreciation. And, you know, when I do videos and stuff, I try to mention where I learned it from as well. And even if, you know, it's probably someone that learned it off of someone, I still mention that person who I learned it off from. Okay, so that's about it. And hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Have fun making your floral bead sprays. I cannot wait to see them when you're done. Make sure you share them and make sure you mention where you learned it from. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take your wire here and probably would need about 12 inches, 12 inches of this. So cut out 12 inches, you know, it doesn't really matter, um, but you just want to make sure you have a good amount because you can always cut it off anyways. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to string my crystal bead here. And you're going to make sure that it is right in the middle. Okay, just like that. And then you are going to twist this. Like really twist it so it's like completely snugged in there. Just like that. Hopefully you can see that. And it doesn't move around because it's tightly snugged in there Then you're going to continue twisting it so this is all you're going to do with that and then you are going to take your flower here and you're going to arrange it to where it's slightly below your crystal there and then you're going to just twist it again so it's tightly in there very easy and you're just going to adjust it to where it faces out just like that okay and then you're just going to put this off aside there and you're going to cut out another 12 inch uh, about 12 inches of the wire and you're going to take your next bead which will be this one um, I chose the clear one and it's smaller and this is just a, t a simple technique for making something similar to these see how I had used a bigger um, crystal bead at the top there and then when it cascades going down I use like a smaller one this one, um, once you get the base of the technique down, this is fairly easy because you just incorporate the floral tape. And that can be a little bit difficult, but it just requires some practice. So you start off making these first, the easier ones. Okay, so twist it until it's actually tightly snugged in there, your bead. And you're going to take your flower again, make sure that it is right below where your bead is. I love how um, the stems are nice and long with wild orchid cross flowers. Gives you enough room to work with here. Okay, and if you really want the colors to match with the wire and the stem, you can definitely alcohol ink it. I don't know if there's actually green alcohol ink, but there probably is. So, it doesn't really bother me because, you know, it's not that big of a deal. So, you just arrange it like that, and you start twisting this in. Because I like how this looks already, so I'm just going to twist it in here. And see how this part's sticking out? Not a problem at all. You can just take your wire cutter here and then use the tip of it to actually stick it back all the way in so it doesn't poke you. And then squeeze that in there. 
just the tip of your wire cutter because at the part here it cuts it on the further down for, on, on, on the blade. Okay, so that's looking pretty good here. It's very fast and very easy. So you're going to take more of your wire again and I'm going to go about, I would say 10 inches. About 10 inches. Because the further down you go, the shorter it gets anyway, so you don't really need that. And I'm just going to take my big one here again. And twist it so it's tightly snugged in there. Just like that. So you get, if you get really good at this, you can definitely incorporate um, some bead caps as well, and that will look totally amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to place this one this way, but I need to add my flower here. Just making this very simple. I could add other styles of flowers as well, but I really wanted to show you guys the technique. So you're just going to add it like that. Really simple. I love how this is looking so far. And you're going to keep doing that till you're happy with the way it looks. So I'm just going to add more of this crystal here in the clear. I just want to even everything out. So keep twisting. And then I'm going to add my flower again. And then this one's going to go right in here. And just like that. And then you just kind of arrange it to however you like it. And there you go. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so what you're going to do is going to keep making sure that it's twisted and nicely tight together. And then to where it's short, where um, the last part of it sticks out, you could just snip it off just like that using your wire cutter. And then um, use your end here to kind of put it together so it doesn't poke you. And there you have it. Very simple, quick and easy flower spray. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? And then, once you get that down, you can definitely experiment with the floral tape. So there you go. Good luck in making yours, and if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave us a comment if you're on Wild Across channel, and if you're watching this on my channel, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.